Hello and welcome back to From the Depths. I'm so sorry for about not recording recently. I've had a bit of a cold and I've sounded a little bit like an asthmatic panda. So I'm ever so sorry about that. Today is going to be another quick build episode and we're going to be creating, yes, another plane. Um, it's going to be, hopefully look a little bit more plane-like than the last one, which was just like a bent over wasp. So let's see how this one goes. Welcome to our new plane. It looks a little bit more plane-like than the last one, which is a good thing. And we're going to test to see whether this actually works. It's got a slightly large propeller, but it's sort of... Um, it's flying. It is flying, but it's very, very low. It. I think what it needs is yet another propeller. Yeah, I think most planes in this actually need two propellers. Um, okay, I'll be right back. And we're back with, um, I, I have still have no name for it, I have no name for the last one either. Um, we're going to have it go against something a bit more difficult than a Sea Viper, we'll go against a Vanguard. Now the design of this plane is meant to be sort of a World War II fighter plane. Unfortunately they have one propeller while this has the two on it. But yes, it's meant to have the idea of it carrying a torpedo on its undercarriage and flying over the enemy and dropping the torpedoes on them and hopefully hitting. So let's see how these torpedoes actually go. We're not getting hit by any of the cannon fire, which is nice. And the torpedoes are... Oh, we got one hit. And let's go underneath and let's have a look. Let's... What you... Why have you got your ass in the air? You should not have your ass in the air. Okay. Um, I, I don't know how to work torpedoes. I, I think I might have to actually change this into missiles. And we're back after a game crash and we have music! Yay! Music! Okay, so I've changed them, the weapons into missiles and we're going to bring the vanguard in again and see how these missiles go. Now they should work quite well. You see how quick they actually turn almost on the... Whoa! Okay, that was quite a lot of damage after one hit. Okay, let's see how two go. It's got a, a little bit of a drop before it actually starts firing in there. Oh, we actually got hit. And they've stopped firing. And... Oh, what? AI dead. Wow. Okay, that was fast. That was very fast. You are a very good plane. Good job. Um, okay, let's do something a little bit more difficult. Okay, spawning, spawning, spawning more, there we are. And they all move away in formation. Oh, that's amazing. I love that when they do that. Oh, and they all do a little, 
Oh, they all tried to do a backflip at the same time. It's like synchronized swimming. Beautiful. Absolutely majestic. Anyway, we're going to go against the coughing nail. We've, I've put in ten of these because they're approximately twice as expensive as the previous one that we created. So we're going to see how these actually work. We've got the coffin nail firing like mad. And we've lost one plane. And whoa, what, what the hell is going on up there? What? Seriously? What? 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 What happened here? Oh, did that just glitch through or was that actually... Holy... Okay, we've lost another plane, but I'm probably another one there, but oh my god. Um... What the hell just happened? Um, we've still got about... is it six? About six planes left out of the ten that we had. But what is like the coffin nail just decided to disintegrate and leave its guns behind? Um, if anyone could tell me what they think happened, please, please tell me. Um, okay, well, if you like this video, please leave a like. If, if you really liked it, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.